Good afternoon, my name is Nicholas Chua and you're watching Hourglass New Edition. A whole news world, now bringing you the latest news. Cinema and school reopening. The AP and Amana support Anwar as candidate for Prime Minister. AMK would not support the Dr Mahathir as Pakatan Harapan candidate for Prime Minister. Senior Minister Datuk Seri Ispan Sabri Yaakob has made an announcement stating the recommencement and reopening of cinema, theatres and live show events in selected areas starting on the 1st of July. Bersetuju untuk membenarkan aktiviti pawagam ataupun panggung wayam Teater dan juga live event ya, Kita benarkan mereka membuka semula Kebenaran ini juga bermula pada 1 Julai 2020 Dan hanya di kawasan tertutup ataupun di dalam dewan tertutup sahaja Datuk Seri Ismail also stated that current health regulations and SOPs Must be followed as well as limitations imposed Depending on the size of the hall to maintain proper movement control Individuals must remain at least one meter apart from each other within the hall, as well as following health screening procedures before entering the hall. So, how do you think about the karaoke reopening during MCO? In other MCO related news, Health Director General Dr. Dr. Noor Hisham Abdullah made a statement to remind students and school staff to practice good hygiene and social distancing during the opening of schools. COVID 19 prevention measures introduced by the Ministry will be applied to students and staff before entering the premises, including individuals who have dealings with the school as well. DAP and Amana will always show support toward Datuk Seri Anwar Ibrahim as candidate for Pakatan Harapan's Prime Minister. In a joint statement, President of Amana Muhammad Sabu and Secretary of DAP Lim Kuan Eng said, They have been consistently supporting Anwar as candidate since 1998 and they will continue to do so. The political journey has taken 22 years and they are waiting for six more months to see Anwar appointed as the 10th Prime Minister of Malaysia. They would like to report a response to the PKR who has previously announced rejecting second choice to nominate Tun Dr Mahathir as Prime Minister and Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim as Deputy Prime Minister, with a transition of power to Anwar after six months. This follows heritage and Tun rejects the first choice to nominate Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim as Prime Minister and Datuk Sri Mukhris Mahathir as Deputy Prime. These two choices were presented at the Presidential Council meeting on May 30th, 2020. With the current political scenario, the possible way to succeed is to combine the strength of the five parties that are PKR, Amana, DAP, Warisan and supporters of Tun Dr Mahathir. News from Johor Bahru. Recently, Angkatan Muda Keadilan, AMK, stated that they will not support Tun Dr Mahathir as Pakatan Harapan's candidate for Prime Minister. AMK has lost trust in Tun Dr Mahathir's self-ability. Chief Akmal Nasrullah Muhammad Nasir stated in his Facebook page to accuse that the fall of the Pakatan Harapan government happened because Tun Dr Mahathir had resigned without concerning Pakatan Harapan. Coming up next, everyone loves tofu, but have you ever thought how tofus are made? Would you still love it? Find out next after these commercial breaks. Welcome back to our last noon edition. Now, DBKL has decided to shut down a tofu processing factory due to violating various health and safety regulations. A tofu processing factory in Jalan Pudu Ulu Cheras was shut down by Kuala Lumpur City Hall on Monday for violating various health and safety regulations. Acting on a public tip-off, DBKL officers who raided the place said the factory was infested with cockroaches and littered with rat droppings. From the evidence at the site, DPKL said the tofu was prepared on the floor as there were traces all over the place. Operators also did not wear headgear or gloves, with some of the workers not even wearing shirts. The factory, which has high ratings on an online travel site, was ordered closed for 14 days under Section 11 of the Food Act 1983. All food factories and restaurants have to pay attention to the health condition to ensure that all the foods are safe to serve to people. The tofu factory was lacking health consciousness. Our glass corresponding TV news reporter, Yongbin, is currently live at the scene. Yongbin? Thank you, Nicholas. I'm currently standing outside the tofu factory collecting some public opinion. So, what do you think about this tofu factory? 
，我来哦，现在这个豆腐这样子讲吃，我不敢吃豆腐了，我家吃了我肚子痛，进医院讲班。听说有人要告我们，我一定跟着告他们的，他们一定死定了。我跟你们讲，我永远都不要再吃豆腐了，这个公司死定了啊。Okay, thank you, Miss. Another four enforcement agency personnel were arrested for suspected collusion with human trafficking syndicates in Johor Bahru. The immigrants from Indonesia were asked to pay between 1,500 ringgit and 2,500 ringgit per person, and the corrupt immigration officers will provide a fake entry and exit stamp for them. According to the Johor Police Chief Commissioner Ayub Khan Maidin Pichai. 22 enforcement officers who are involved in human trafficking have been arrested so far. The father was arrested because of abusing his two-month-old baby in our palace. The father wanted to keep the baby quiet, therefore he sprayed pesticide, slapped and threw his baby. The baby also suffered injuries to the back of his head and neck while red spots were found on his head. In other related news, a couple in Malacca was arrested for dumping an aborted baby's remains. The woman was in fifth to seventh month labor when she decided to have an abortion. Her boyfriend admitted that he disposed of the corpse in a sewage pipe. A woman has brought her friends to bully her ex-boyfriend in a Stampak alleyway. The man was beaten up badly and was immediately sent to the hospital for further treatment. The woman was arrested by the authorities and was sent to the police station for further interrogation. After her release, the woman told the reporters that she could not accept the fact that her ex-boyfriend dumped her. Therefore, she decided to take revenge on him. Excuse me, miss. Why did you have to beat up your boyfriend? When he hit him, he asked him. He was like this. 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 On a positive note, a video produced by Tourism Malaysia titled Discover Graphic in Malaysia won the Silver Award of the 41st Annual Tele Awards for non broadcast under the Travel Tourism Category 2020. In the 4 minute video, viewers are taken through the country's iconic attractions and unique culture. The video was produced in preparation for Visit Malaysia Year 2020, which has been cancelled due to the COVID 19 pandemic. Cinema and School Reopening DAP and Amanah support Anwar as candidate for Prime Minister AMK would not support the Dr Mahathir as Pakatan Harapan candidate for Prime Minister That's all for today. Follow our glass station on Facebook and Instagram to get the latest news and information. Once again, my name is Nicholas. Thanks for watching our glass noon edition. Have a beautiful afternoon.